Hello everybody, if you're looking for Mr. Fontana in AP Calculus, you are in the right spot. It's just that I am not. Uh, but anyway, we'll do the best we can here with what we have. My name's TJ Fontana. Uh, this is my uh, 23rd year teaching math here at DeKalb High School and my 19th year teaching AP Calculus. So really nice to uh, meet you all as it were virtually. It's been nice getting to know your, your children these last couple of weeks and we're looking forward to another really good year in what is obviously the, the capstone math course that we have here at DHS. And it looks like we have a really nice group of kids uh, this year. I'll try to make this quick because I know watching videos is not a whole lot of fun. Um, as you probably heard already, my family's got a medical issue that we are dealing with here this year, and as such, uh, I'm only going to be in school about half the time. I'm working mornings and afternoons, alternating back and forth, and so I'm only seeing your kids once uh, every other day on average. Uh, but what's worked out really nice, I'm happy about this, is that uh, Jay Smith, who's a retired physics teacher, actually he was my physics teacher in high school, uh, has agreed then to come in and sub for me on just about all the days when I'm going to be out. So uh, Mr. Smith is more than qualified uh, to, uh, to take our kids through uh, the challenges they're gonna have in calculus this year. So we're really happy to have him there as well on the days when I'm not gonna be able to make it. Uh, but as it were, we're gonna do the best we can with the situation then. Uh, we are gonna be using Google Classroom classroom, not Canvas, in this class only here this year. Uh, I spoke with administration about that, and given my situation, we thought that would probably be a better fit. Um, I'm not going to do a ton in terms of posting online for kids that they need to be checking here constantly. All of their tests, their quizzes, their homework submissions, all of those things are still going to be done on pencil and paper, uh, which I really found over the last few years has worked better than a digital format for a difficult class like AP Calc. But we're using Classroom already just so that they can get access to certain information. And I'll show you real quick here what some of that is going to look like here. Um, we are going to, let's see, every so often here. Okay, there you go. They're going to have a homework sheet that looks like this. That's posted once a chapter. And within there, there are resources embedded for them. They can print up a copy of the blank notes and follow along with those if they would like. Um, and for each one of the sections that we're going to do this year, there's a video of me going through all of the notes for them. So on days when I am in class, I would hope anyway, they would uh, keep watching me there live. But on days when I am not in class, uh, they can watch the video then um, if Mr. Smith is not there also. And hopefully they can keep up with things in that regard. That homework sheet is going to give them all of the assignments for the year. It's going to give them a pacing guide so they know when they can expect their next quiz or test coming up. And hopefully then with all those uh, things available to us, we're going to communicate pretty well and they're going to know what is expected of them and when. We are going to try to keep the pace up in class this year, even though I'm going to be gone a decent amount. Uh, and so we're going to try to get back to a more traditional pacing for this course that we did uh, before COVID. And the real benefit to that then, uh, we certainly work the kids a little bit harder and make them go just a little bit faster than they feel comfortable doing on their own. But the benefit to that is that when we do our normal pacing schedule, in AP Calc, we finish up all of our new material typically by spring break. And that gives us then at least a month, if not five or six weeks, that we can just review for the AP test. And that exam, which I believe is on May 8th this year, is really the end goal of what it is we're trying to get the kids ready for here within this course. So early on, uh, today being September 6th, we would certainly hope that every student enrolled in the course right now is intending to take the AP exam in May and working towards that goal. Just a couple of quick tips. Uh, calculus is a tough class, everybody. Uh, it, it, it wasn't easy uh, when, when they came up with it, and it isn't easy now. So we need the kids to take it very seriously, and we need the kids to work hard. That probably goes without saying, but um, it, it does come as a surprise to people, uh, especially students who sometimes have skated by with less than a full effort in some courses in the past, Sometimes your luck runs out and calculus is very often a spot where that happens. So as I've told them, I need the kids uh, paying attention. I need them taking good notes. I need them keeping up on their homework assignments uh, pretty much every night. Um, I'm kind of uh, flexible in terms of when they have to get things turned into me by, but I think a good rule of thumb is if they can spend 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes per night on average, uh, they can get through the material in the time that we're allotting for them, and they should be okay in that regard. 
In addition to paying attention, taking good notes, and doing homework, this is a course where students are going to have to study above and beyond the things that we just listed if they hope to do well on quizzes and tests. So having independent study skills is a really good uh, strength for them to develop at this point. So that could be things like making flashcards, studying with a friend, or, here's a fun one, doing additional homework problems above and beyond what they've already completed uh, for homework that's going to be turned in. And that can be either finding additional problems in the textbook or simply redoing problems that they've already gotten right once before. If they can learn to do those things, that's really the best advice I can give them for how to study and prepare for quizzes and tests. Um, I'll be checking email frequently here, so if you have any questions, you certainly can reach out to me that way. My email address is simply tfontana at d428.org. The students can get in touch with me that way as well. They can also reach out through classroom or any other way we have to, to get in touch then. So please let me know if there's anything else I can do to help out. I'm looking forward to having a really great year, and thanks very much. Please let me know if you have any questions.